Hello guys, it's Darkshare, and welcome to the 5th episode of Piranda. And in this episode, we're gonna work on the uh, queue line, a uh, little bit on the entrance, a little bit on the exit. And we're gonna start our first shop, um, which is already in a workshop. Um, but let's get about, uh, around that later. So uh, stay tuned, and uh, let's just begin. So, uh, like you see, I started on the queue line, uh, we left there off in the past episode, uh, I changed the queue, I wasn't really satisfied of how it, uh, was, yeah, how, how it, yeah, how it was, so I redone the queue for the most part, um, because I wanted to do something with that, and uh, try something new that I didn't yet do, um, I wanted to make some um, angles with the building pieces I've had right now because the angles I have right now are just straight and I'll, um, like you see I wanted to make a stair uh, version of my um, building set, I don't know how you call that but uh, yeah I think stair version of the building set is the best way I can describe it, um, yeah I don't have the words uh, for you. For me to use it right now but uh, yeah you see me starting with the wood um, I needed some uh, yeah I, I wanted to recreate uh, the walls and just get that style on going on the stairs so I tried my best to recreate it and let it fit as best I can um, and I think I succeeded pretty well and um, I hope you guys think the same about the fit and etc. And like I said, I'm gonna um, yeah, I'm gonna uh, get a lot of details like uh, that were on the walls, also on the stairs, just to match things up. And uh, yeah, I'll I'll get uh, some terraforming done too. But that's all all for the all for the upcoming uh, stuff. Um, another thing, you see me uh, posting some videos, more videos. Uh, yeah, later. Uh, uh, past week there were some more videos. Right now there are some more videos. Um, yeah, I'm really cranking these videos for you guys out because I finally have time and I can finally do some things for you guys. And I really like that because now I can give you guys, now I can give you guys some content that you guys can enjoy and watch. Um, I don't force you to watch it, but if you watch it, it will be pretty cool. Um, yeah, you see me um, making. Um, the stairs a little bit b better looking, um, a little bit more matching to the uh, wall set I have, and I I feel I nailed it pretty much. Um, I don't know what you guys th think about it. Leave it in the comment sections if you guys like it or not. Um, I liked it, and I think I've accomplished I accomplished it very well, and it fits really good with the Guranda theme. Um, yeah. And of course, when I made this, it's just copy and pasting um, on the other stairs because yeah, it's just always the same. Maybe I have some turn some angles and some different angles, but it's overall the same. So I can just if I want to make some stairs, I can just use those pieces. Um, that's why I left some walls uh, sets from the station building also different because I want I made a shop with that building set and I'm gonna make many more with that building set um, so yeah that's that's gonna be really promising the shop uh, that you will see later will be really promising I really like building that it's um, more like a swab steampunk theme that's of, of course the style we're going for with Giranda swamp and steampunk really iconic and uh, it's different because I don't really see that a lot of the workshop these days um, talking about different um, I actually started a sort of small blueprint series um, the first episode will come on later this week or ne maybe next week um, because we're gonna tackle you maybe not get uh, you will maybe not guess it but we're gonna tackle cyberpunk yes indeed I'm gonna tackle uh, the theme cyberpunk I really wanted to tackle that theme for a long time now and I think I'm now at a skill level that it will be looking good um, because if I would have done it like maybe a, 
half a year ago, nah, it wouldn't have looked good. And I think I've mastered some skills by now that I can finally uh, tackle the thing well and I have some techniques. Uh, massive shout out to Pretzel and Fricker because those guys, they're just really co good at building and they tackled the cyberpunk theme before me and I really got some inspiration from them and their builds because holy crap, it's hard to tackle cyberpunk. I've already recorded um, some, yeah, some content already and I started building on it already, it's almost finished. I'm, j I'm just waiting for that, uh, for that Ghostbusters DLC to drop. It's just downloading now um, and I'm gonna probably um, add some Ghostbusters stuff to the build as well. If you don't have the Ghostbusters DLC, I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, I, I was really hyped for the Ghostbusters DLC because that DLC looks awesome. You have the freaking... You have the freaking car, you have the monsters, you have the, the big... Uh, uh, mo yeah, Marshmallow guy. I don't know the guy. I don't know the names of the Ghostbusters. Uh, ma uh, yeah. I don't know the real names of the Ghostbusters, but like, yeah, I watched all of the mu movies and they added so much building pieces that can be used so well with cy Cyberpunk. It's unbelievable and I'm so, so, so hyped for that. Like, I've actually never been so hyped for a DLC before. Like, we get freaking Ghostbusters. Like, come on, how cool do you want to have it? And yeah, man, I'm just so hyped. Um, rumor says you can also drive the car. You can drive the Ghostbusters car. And yeah, that's gonna be sick. I'm gonna do that for sure. I'm just not gonna build anymore. I'm gonna drive in the Ghostbusters car for all the time I spend in Planko. Just no more building, just driving in the Ghostbusters car because holy crap, that's gonna be cool. Holy crap. So uh, yeah, I'm really, I'm pretty hyped. You can hear it from my voice. I'm like really hyped um, for the Ghostbusters DLC, and I hope you guys are too. Um, um, yeah, that that's just gonna be awesome. And I don't know if I'm gonna use pieces for Garanda. Um, we'll, we'll we'll find out eventually. But like, yeah. <laughs> we just have to wait uh, and I didn't see all the videos I did watch a part uh, a part of Wix's live stream where we showed off all the pieces and yeah it looks really promising but enough talks about the Ghostbusters DLC let's talk about Garanda uh, you saw me finishing the queue uh, line stairs and now let's take the building to the ground shall we so you see me using this uh, really cool fence piece I've made um, I really like that fence piece, that's why, you, that's why you see me using it a lot, and um, yeah, it looks just really cool, and yeah, I love it. Um, yeah, before I wanted to go further on um, this, uh, the queue line, I wanted to do, do some terrain work, because I felt like it was too big of a space, and I really like to do terrain work, don't, yeah, don't get me wrong, but it can take a lot of time to do some great terrain work. And I think what I've did right here right now is pretty cool, pretty good. Um, yeah, for a guy that al always makes 4K blueprints, <laughs> I think it's yeah, it's for my uh, yeah for for me it's 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 a, it's an accomplishment um, to get that nice of terrain. Um, just now um, I've had a little bit of that uh, queue part, and I wanted to make. Um, some overhang, but I thought like wh why would I do that if I have one already? So I picked the one from the station and you can and you guys can, can call me um, Lazy because yeah, I just copied but like it, it looks pretty good it fits in the theme like I can rebuild it. Yes, I know but like mm, You know sometimes you have to be a lazy man I'm sorry if, I, if, if it's disappointing, but sometimes I just can't handle it and, and I need to be a little bit lazy because, yeah, sorry. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is almost the, uh, the fuel queue. The, fu the fuel queue. The, the full queue. <laughs> uh, now I was going further on the path, just some adding to fences um, because, yeah, why, why the heck not? <laughs> Um, just to uh, give that nice uh, feeling of it's really closed out and 
you only can go in the past, not beyond that. Um, you see me removing and adding some foliage later because I made my own nature set with some nature pieces. Because I felt the nature that was in right now, in the front, within those, I don't know, you call it, those gaps from the path. I've, yeah, just placed some random three, uh, trees and it's like, it's not matching. Um, yeah, I was I was like, man, I can do that better. So I made a uh, a swamp set of plants, etc. And uh, yes, I've made I've redone the uh, plants and the bushery. And to be honest, it looks way, way, way better. Like actually way better because like it, this was so random, and now I feel like I have a really good theme in mind, and it really looks like that theme. So it automatically looks way better. Um, so yeah and I'm gonna end the voice over here um, you see me now building the entrance then I'll build an exit and then I'm gonna build on my Derek's dealership um, that's that's a uh, shop skin I've made for Garanda it's already in a workshop um, so if you want to check it out check my workshop out um, if you like it yeah you know what it is uh, just comment rate it and uh, favorite if you like it but uh, that's it for, that, for today, so I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, maybe smash a like, maybe subscribe. I would really appreciate that. So um, I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll check you guys out. Bye!